Hey guys, welcome back to Passing Money. Uh, today, this topic is going to be a Twitter react. Uh, this is going to be the topic. Um, what would you do if you had $50,000 in the bank? Um, this would be a great topic. Kirby makes about 50000 every second. So, you know, for me, I got to I gotta, I gotta put in some work. <laughs> but um, if I had fifty grand, man, I'd just buy another property. That's all I would do: buy another property, because that's that's actually what I'm working towards right now. Right, and and that that makes sense, and I mean that's a good way to uh, look at it. Um, so let's say I didn't know what I knew now, and let's say I'm just somebody who got an inheritance, uh, got life insurance you know, a life insurance payout or just ran into $50,000. What I would do is, I have two options. The first thing I would not do is take advice from family members. That's what I would not do. I mean, the first thing I always say is question information received. Don't let, and if somebody's broke, you should never ask them for advice or take any advice from somebody broke because if they were smart, then they wouldn't be broke. If they knew, had financial literacy, they wouldn't be broke. And I'm not saying that from where I'm sitting at now. I'm saying that, period. I believe anybody who has financial literacy, like Alex, if Alex went 100% broke today and had no dollars and had to start back over at zero, because of the financial literacy he has, he would be able to get back above the national average of people that's in his demographic easily. That's what I believe. So do not, that's the first thing I would not do is take uh, advice from broke people. And if y'all mad about that, I'm calling people broke. That's all the hell well. But the after that, not taking advice, the first thing I would do is absorb as much information as I can. Absorb as much information as I can. And I'm not saying, oh, just go on YouTube and just follow anybody that's talking about money, yada, yada, yada. What I mean is, first thing I would do is Start looking at highly recommended books about finance. And then, of course, I have a plethora of, of them, but that's what I would do. And then I would get, I would start consuming that information, not spending a dollar. I would consume that information. And then I would do one or two things after I consume that information. I would, one, either I can, depends on the mindset you have. If you're a person that can, uh, absorb information and just go out there and take action. I would go take action off the information that I read off the book, read out the books or the content that I consume. The second thing is if you're not that person that can just take action and you need more information to make yourself proficient, I would invest, I would invest in that thing. So what I mean by that is I would invest if you if you wanted to just do e-commerce, if you wanted to be in real estate, if you wanted to do anything that you're passionate about and you wanted to be more into it, I would invest in myself to learn more things to make me very proficient. But the thing is, is those, if you're not a person that's going to take action, then you should go do something else. But what I'm saying by that is I would invest in myself if I'm going to say I'm going to invest use this information and I'm going to put it into action, then I would invest time going to workshops, going to different, um, you know, mastermind classes and things like that to get all the information that I can. And then once you, I have that information, then I'm going to go out there and do it. Then that's what I would do. So for me, in my case, just me personally, uh, if I didn't know nothing, I had $50,000. I, I mean, my broke uncle, when he called me and tell me what to do with money, I'm gonna be like, oh, hell no, I ain't listening to you. Oh, all that. And then so after that, then I'm going to, you know, read books, read books, read books, because I'm a big reader. I know I'm old, so I, I'm going to read books. And then I'm just going to go into action, even if it's, a you know, Robert Kiyosaki book or something like that. And then I will take the information and then go buy real estate or I would go into the stock market, investing in something as simple as the S&P 500. And then that's that's what I would do. I wouldn't go be complex. I wouldn't go try to be a Forex trader. I wouldn't try to be a day trader or anything like that. Because the thing is, is you get that money from wherever you get the money from. No matter, like, let's say if it's, you know, life insurance or something like that or inheritance, you should want to be a good steward of the money. And being a Forex trader when you don't know nothing, then that sucks. But if now, I'm not saying Forex trading or day trading is bad. 
But if you're going to use the money to educate yourself with Forex trading, so you got $50,000 and you use $10,000 on educating yourself with Forex trading or day trading from a reputable person, and then you go out and spend the other $40,000 doing it, I'm all for it. But just going ad hocly, just, oh, I see people making money doing this. I see people making money in crypto. Let's just go do it and have no education. I think you're setting yourself up for failure and you just wasted somebody's uh, expectations of you. That's one of them. I agree. My uh, Yeah, my answer was a little bit more selfish because I'm just looking at like what I would do. But uh, sure. in a situation like that, I absolutely agree. I have no disagreements. Um, you... You know, like the people that see people making a lot of money on Forex trading or stock trading or e-commerce, they, they've they already learned that. They've already applied themselves to studying that uh, level of business or that, that right. game or whatever. So they know how to use that 50000 and apply it to what they're doing. So for someone that has no knowledge on that or has no literacy in something of that space, yeah, you need to obtain the knowledge first before you deploy that money. Um, for someone, like you said, that doesn't want to take action yet, yeah, then, you know, one thing I recommend to people is they follow the Dave Ramsey baby steps. You know, that's the simplest. Uh, I'm not saying that people that do the Dave Ramsey baby steps don't take action. They're obviously making a sacrifice more than uh, other people aren't. Um, but that's something that's more uh, casual. It's not so aggressive. It's not so uh, it's not something you have to be absolutely extreme about unless you're in a, a lot of debt but you can take that money and look at different avenues but gain the knowledge first before you put that money somewhere you know you don't want to i and i'm sure we both see a lot of people that hear an idea that sounds good but they don't know anything about it and once they put that money in they lose it all because they haven't learned that uh that game and uh robert kiyosaki i know talks about you know when you learn something, there is no risk to you because you understand it and you know what you're doing. And that's and that's and that's true. That's why I could say wholeheartedly, uh, without any doubt in my mind, like I said, if Alice went broke today, he can go make the money again. It's because you have the knowledge of how money works. Once you have the knowledge of how money works, then the world is yours. I mean, the only the only thing that's slowing you down is obtaining the capital to make it work. Right. I mean, and and then once you, I mean, and then you'll figure out how to make the, the, obtain the capital to make it work. Or, you know, you sit there and grind and you make the money work to go do it again. But if you don't know how money works, no matter how much money you have, if you don't understand how much money works, you will be bound to lose it all. So that is the key to understanding what this game is. And, and I call it a game because that's what it all is. It's like you hear the people saying the matrix and non matrix. It is. It's just like it's just like the movie The Matrix. Everybody follows the script. And then it's that person that grabs the red pill that realizes that, oh, this just is set up to be one certain way. And then once you realize, once you get a bird's eye view of what everybody is trying to do or what everybody's doing and the powers to be to make it happen, then you can see the workaround around it and makes life simpler, makes life easier. And once you learn it, it's hard to deprogram yourself from it, no matter if you go broke and then come back, go broke. I mean, on Wall Street, you see many people file bankruptcies on companies and things like that, but then they, you know, reinvent themselves and do it all over again. It happens. It, It's, you know, it's something that's very easy and relevant, relevant to do. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, uh, leave a comment down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, still hit the like button. Share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.